Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a weird Intel CPU made of glue and two new Radeon GPUs are coming really soon. But first, how about a mobile RPG done right with today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, an epic dark fantasy that was just nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. And it's obvious to see why. There's over 400 customizable champions to collect, with new ones added every month, a fully voiced story campaign, progression rewards, PvP arena, and it's free to play. Plus, they have tons of plans for the future with their recent roadmap. So what on earth are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver and one free epic champion. Hurry before this offer expires. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, it looks like Elmer's is making a CP... Oh, hold on one second, I'm getting a call. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Alright, bye. Okay, so I have a correction on that. Apparently, Intel may have entered the glue market. In a recent tweet, resident leaker Mo Momo shared an image of an Intel CPU with an MCM design. For those who don't know, an MCM or multi-chip module is what makes AMD Zen architecture, that's Zen 1 plus etc. so potent. It's how AMD can so easily scale their chips while keeping the price incredibly low. The issue is that Intel has mostly made fun of AMD over it, going as far as calling their interconnect glue in presentation slides. Anyway, moving back to the chip, if we look at a video posted where it's delitted, we can see the batch number which makes it about 5 years old. And WCC Utsec googled the part number and found tons of them on eBay, with some estimates around 100,000 or so out there. Basically, it doesn't seem to be a hoax, there's just too many for that, but there's also kind of too many for it to be samples. Plus, it doesn't work because it's missing too much. Really, no one seems to know exactly what they are, but if it's an indication that Intel has been working on MCM-based processors for a while, it would make for an odd past. Yes, Intel has made processors with an MCM design in the past, and we know they plan to make Favaros with chiplets in the future. But it's funny to see Intel could have been working on this type of design for a while now, yet is only just getting to an announcement point. Maybe, just maybe, AMD's glue is a bit better than Intel gave them credit for. Next up for today, we have what finally looks like a real successor to AMD's Polaris GPUs. I say real successor because let's be honest, the RX 400 series was the last real mid-range update from AMD. Technically, for now, you could call the Vega series mid-range, but they were meant to compete in the high end when they came out. No, I'm talking about the RX 480, 580, 590, etc. At first, we thought it would be the Radeon RX 5500, but when you look at what AMD themselves compare it to, the 5500 pretty clearly isn't that. With that said, there's two new GPUs that seem to be exactly that. In a report originally done by video cards, we first have the RX 5600 XT. Now, we've somewhat seen this in the past, but the RX 5500 series became the main focus with more leaks and eventual announcement. When it comes to the new card, video cards claims to have confirmed that at least two board partners are working on an RX 5600 XT. Unfortunately, they don't have very many specs, except for a really odd one. Given the name, the 5600 XT should perform somewhere between the RX 5500 and 5700. Yet, according to this, the 5600 XT only gets 6GB of memory. Sure, it's GDDR6, but the 5500, or should I say the 5500 XT, which I'll get to in a minute, gets up to 8GB of GDDR6. I don't know, Video Cards is definitely an accurate leaker, and if they claim confirmation, it typically means something. Either way, it's an odd configuration. The last bit of news on the 5600 XT is that we should apparently expect a release in January of next year, so it's definitely not long off. The second GPU is the rumored 5500 XT, which seems to be where the confusion came in with the RX 5500 announcement. Basically, according to this, the RX 5500 XT is the GPU that comes with up to 8GB of GDDR6. So this confusing slide that discussed the RX 5500 apparently had the 5500 XT mixed in, which is why it simply says 4GB on AMD's website. Anyway, according to video card source, the 5500 XT comes with either a 4 or 8GB GDDR6 memory configuration. When it comes to specs, that's all we have, but according to video cards, the 5500 XT is expected to release sometime next week from board partners. Meaning yes, if this is right, the 5500 XT will be released for the DIY market. Thank you. 
So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? What do you think about that Intel CPU? And what about those new GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely don't forget about Raid Shadow Legends. And as always, have a great day.